Hello and welcome back to the Ford Tech Make You Loco channel. Today we have another Ford quick tip for you and it's gonna be on how to adjust your transmission shift indicator linkage. Yes, there's a linkage, uh, there's a cable and an adjustment for that so everything lines up perfectly whenever you select a gear. So like right now we're in park, kind of. I just put it in reverse, kind of, okay. And our shift linkage is fine. Everything's good to go down there, okay? But we're just not lining up on here. So what I'll do is I'll show you what usually fails on these uh, to cause this in the first place. Now down below here, under the dash, there's gonna be a knee bolster behind here, okay? Un underneath the steering column. And there's gonna be a trim panel on top of that. Underneath all of that, there's a little a uh, black dial underneath here with a white bracket and it looks the bracket looks a little something like this now there's two pieces of it here because they usually break off on either side there that's how they fail so the way you find this little cable in this adjustment thumb wheel is you simply look underneath here it's gonna be right by the steering column here okay as it comes down and you're gonna see this cable looking piece. It's not gonna be a thick wire, it's gonna be a single cable looking piece. And one side goes up to the cluster here, wrap it into there, okay? And then the other side, you simply follow it around and it connects to the shift lever there. See how it connects up to it there? Right there? Well, in between, there's an adjustment. That little thumb wheel right there. So as you spin it, you just spin it by hand, just spin it in a hole, it's like a fine thread adjustment on there. And that allows you to perfectly set, perfectly center your transmission shift indicator on here. So you can adjust it after other repairs have been done and stuff like that. So everything lines up perfectly and you know exactly what gear you're in. Like I said, a lot of times uh, this little bracket on here breaks though. So luckily there's a, a part out there that you can uh, buy separately to fix these. I'll link to it down below. So that simply slides onto there and then you're back in business as you see here, okay? So this is the way you do it. You're just gonna spin it whichever way you need while watching up top here. So we're gonna kinda do this live and get an adjustment going here. Get a better shot for you guys. So you gotta reach underneath there and just kind of see what way you need to go. Nope, that's the wrong way, buddy. See, so start spinning it the other way. There we go, we're starting to head back in the right direction. Now what you wanna do is just kind of spin it enough so it's kind of centered in, let's say, park, okay? So you can see it's like centered in there. Then you wanna try the other gears, key on engine off, okay? There's gonna be some slop in the indicator here and your shift lever, I mean. So you kind of bring it back like that. Look at that, we're hitting it every time now, okay? There we go. So that's all you gotta do to adjust it. Now this adjustment thumb wheel underneath here, I mean, Ford's been using these on their, their vehicles for probably 30, 40 years. Everything now is digital up in the cluster and all that, but um, for 30, 40 years, Ford used this. So. Chances are, if you're watching this channel, you have this and it possibly broke uh, making the adjustment on there a little sloppy and way off. It only takes a few seconds to do to get in there and actually swap it out and adjust it just like seen here. Sometimes they just get you know worn out over time and you just need to adjust it. A lot of times you can just reach up underneath there without pulling anything off and kind of find it, okay? and you can start adjusting it without pulling any of these panels off. You'll see it right away once you look underneath the dash with a good light. That's all for now. I figure I covered this subject because so many vehicles use this and it is such a common issue on these Fords. I'll see you guys next time.